Hello guys, I'm Press G here and it's Sunday and today guys I got a request to do a little, something a little different. You know how um, colored green is so good for you and I, we all love it so much. So the last time I did a video it was with colored green and turkey wings. So today we're doing some colored green with turkey drumstick guys and um, you know um, I'm not going to take too much time showing it prep because the video I have up there. So this is basically what I have chopped up here. But the first thing about it, folks, you soak off your colored green in a little bit of vinegar uh, or salt and wash it down properly. You know, wash down the leaf properly. And folks, you know the leaves come with these stems, right? But these parts are very hard. These are very, very hard. So you don't want to heat these. In fact, I just use this for my in my juice, my green juice. Um, so this is what, um, normally they will come like this, okay? I should have kept, yeah, and you just break this part off because the stem is very tough and you don't want to cook that. And um, I'll show you basically what you do. So here we have two and this is part here. You want to go like this and get rid of that. You can also cut it too. Get rid of as much of the tough part as possible. Yeah, and these are great in your green smoke, green juice or smoothies. Colored green having so much vitamin, um, you know, folks, it is so, it's one of those vegetables. It's, it's from the cabbage family. When I was growing up back home, we had it, but people never use it. Um, they call it um, long leaf cabbage. And what we realized is the Americans in the South who um, really, um, you know, popularize this thing because um, I think it came all the way from Africa or just, you know, people from Africa. But this is big in, if you go to an American, black American um, house, this is going to be on the dish, especially a certain time of the year, Thanksgiving and stuff like that. So basically this is it. This is, they brought, I'm pretty sure they brought, bring it with them from Africa. Okay. So what you do afterward, you get it, you're just going to fold it, fold it like this. And as I said, there's a video up there already. Um, in detail and you're just gonna cut it on an angle like this you know a lady um i did a video the other day and she in my comments said um there's nothing more dangerous than a on a <laughs> dull knife so um i you know just respond and say manage respect i was cutting out um i was cutting a pineapple and she thought the knife was was dull these knife my dear they're they're in a self sharpen container and I get cut on them I can't remember when I ever gotten cut on them and they're sharp so basically this is it here folks right yeah and we're gonna be using um two two drumstick and these ones are large turkey um like you know the folks that want this so that's it I gotta say I'm not a big I like the dark meat of the turkey the, the neck the wing places like that so we're gonna be using those two two drumsticks and this is it. So these are what these are um smoke. So guys, this is um, give it a lot of flavor. So um these are wash. Um I still wash them off and you know the lime juice and stuff like that. And um so they're all clean, ready to go. So right now, um okay, I tell you what involved all the what I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be using some green onions or spring spring scallion. Um some onion chop. I yeah I have both, so I use both purple and white also some bell peppers and here i have fresh thyme and basil and um some um bay leaves um some garlic here chopped very fine you could also you know if you want to um, grind it up i have some chopped ginger here i have some white um vinegar i think this is um yeah this is some white uh, this is not um this is what grape white vinegar or stuff like that it's not really the white white vinegar that is too strong right now and i have some chopped tomatoes and folks um later on i'll have some a little bit of um not a lot of powder and maybe i'll have some parsley some fresh parsley and cilantro and everybody do their this dish differently so right now we're waiting for the pot to be heated to start the process so we're going to start um with the onions and some garlic and so I'm just waiting for the pot to be heated, okay? So this is it. So this is colored green here, folks. We are, do, we are doing with um, turkey drumstick. And uh, these 
fairly good sized turkey um guys <laughs> they like the drumstick big you know so, and you can also do it with um um ox also the the, the smoke one but the smoked turkey um to do um to get a really good result from collard green i would say always use smoked meat um that's where you get the flavor comes in from smoked meat so always use smoked meat for your collard green you know and collard green today folks you can buy it in the store i bought a bunch and it was like five dollars um, i'm surprised it wasn't by the pound today normally it's by the pound so i got a size bunch um for about um for five dollars yeah um yesterday it's a pretty expensive vegetable because they, i guess they realize the value of it they see that you know it's been you just like when you know you have jamaican product in the store they're the most expensive product in the store over here food in the store over here you know um i don't know it's just the popularity of but it's not also just a popularity it's that that you know jamaican produce good stuff you know jamaican coffee is the most expensive in the world in case um people didn't know that even though we don't want it anymore <laughs> the korean south korean and japan the japanese they own it but you know it's what it what well, but it's the best coffee in the world folks so this is i'm just waiting for the oil to be heated then i'll start the procedure uh, yeah i think i everything is there and later on i just had some you know some some dry spice not a lot to it as i as i go along and some fresh chopped parsley is still there but the thyme is the main ingredient and the bay leaf those two of my favorite herbs to use in it and you have your bell peppers and your spring onion or green onion or whatever you want to call it and lots of garlic and some ginger and um some vinegar you can use any vinegar you want but white no 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 basmatic white vinegar um i think this one is um i didn't go with the um distilled vinegar that's too strong i use a very light white wine vinegar folks yeah that's it so let the pot just eat it and we get the process on started so i'm just gonna so the pot it's hot right now you can see it so i'm gonna start putting in the um i'm gonna first put in the onions and then we're gonna start smelling some nice food i'm gonna let this um party a bit before i have the um garlic and the ginger to it and you and uh, this is why i choose the pot folks because they um they wouldn't put in any other pot um i have so this is the one I figure you know that was cooking properly. So I'm just letting that um letting the onion just as they say sweat a bit, you know. Make sure that you can see in the pot. Let me just make some adjustments here. Yes, much better. Okay, so I'm just gonna add in right now the garlic. And you could chop it up or you could um I just I just mince it very small. And I'm also adding in the ginger. Some of the um, thyme. I like to take off the twig of off of it to get more flavor from it that way. Green onion. Of this pepper, you know, I'm not gonna use up all of it right now. I'm waiting till it's almost cooked, and I, I don't want everything to be totally cooked out. So I'm gonna put in some of this peppers right now and leave the rest. So let all of that cook me. I'm 
green to it so that gonna be cooking for about a hour or so folks um till the meat fall from the bone okay so when that is done we'll come back okay i will come back i'll come back before that when i add in the um colored green okay all right okay guys around 15 minutes i'm gonna add the colored green to it uh, it takes a long time to cook too but um so that's how it do it. I'm just gonna let it do its things. That's about 15 minutes. It's gonna be cooking for about another um close to see um meat hasn't start falling off or anything as yet, so it's had a little way to go. So I'm just gonna close it back down now and let it do its thing. So next time I open the pot, the meat should be falling from the bone. And um, nothing much need to be added to it. Um, maybe just oh, also right now I'm just gonna add um, the vinegar to it, and that's a about two tablespoon of vinegar, white vinegar, um, grape I think, not distilled. That's too strong. I use that to wash it off. Yeah. Okay, folks. So when I come back, um, that should be it. All right. Okay guys, here we go. You see how much it reduces guys? And look, all the meat is gone, you see, almost from the, you know. So this one here, I'm just gonna take this one out and take off. Most of this one meat, some of it is gone, but I'm just gonna take the rest off. So guys, right now it's just, and this is what, this liquid, what they call down south, hot liquor so I'm just gonna add the, the onion the bell peppers right now and um, some parsley and this is just gonna be cooking down right now I'm just gonna see that one the meat uh, that's about an hour and a half there and as you can see all that so we're just gonna let it reduce down a bit and I'm gonna just cut this one Let's get the rest of the meat um, from the bone from this one and that's it and what we're gonna have with it um you're not gonna have any uh, because the favorite thing to have with it is corn either corn bread or corn muffin but the folks they want the rice so we did some carrot rice with celery and all of that in it so that's what they got and this and some people just gonna have it by itself just like this folks you don't need any um rice or anything to add this when you have it in a bowl bowl because in this um, colored green, it having so much, it's like almost like, I think it has the same amount of more than Kalilu, the iron in Kalilu. And I'm telling you, it's very popular. It's down in the States. 
with black Americans. I know everybody uses it today, but that's where it's. If you turn on any um, cooking show from down in the state, you're gonna see that. And the turkey has so much flavor in it. Because it's. You know, it's the dark part of the meat too. It's the leg, the leg and the wing and the neck. I think is where you get most flavor. But I have to admit, guys, I'm not a big turkey fan. But I do whatever I can <laughs> for whoever needs it. And this is what they want. So, and it's it's a beautiful dish. It's almost like, um. so I'm just gonna have the rest of this now. I'll cut it up because this is all falling apart from the bone. So I'm just gonna let it reduce a bit. The rice is already done. I think I'm um, just gonna taste it if you need anything. I just put in some parsley in it a few minutes ago. And you know all that seasoning garlic and everything went in there early on so I'm just gonna do it to taste like right to see if um but I doubt it need anything. Mm. Oops, it's good. Very good. And that's what they call pot liquor in the States. I just, I just because everything, that thing I've been so much higher now when it reduces. So that's what it's called. They call it the juice from that pot liquor. Ah, uh, just add a little basil. Don't need a lot. Thank you. Tastes very good. And I put fresh parsley and so and when they are ready. A little cayenne pepper. Also there's some scotch bonnet once I'm cut up in it already. So um and like for spices it doesn't need anything. It's good. Your allspice, you don't want to put too many. You can hear it bubbling there. Collard green and smoked turkey. And the colored green is cooked at this point, um, about an hour because it's very. Colored green is a very, very, um, takes a lot longer to cook. But I'm pretty sure at this point, yeah, it's done. Yeah, see so yeah. And you see the color changes from a dark green to, yeah. So folks, I'm just going to let this reduce down a little bit more. And anyway, here the rice is done already, nice carrot rice. So I'm going to give it about another um, 10, 15 minutes, then it will be all done, okay? So let's let it reduce at this point. So when we come back, we'll just wrap it up, okay? Yes, guys, um, it's done. And I'm just going to plate some now. And like I said, they wanted rice, so I put rice on, some carrot rice with it. So see, it just reduces. See that, guys? Yeah. And it's the sauce from this that they, um, Black American, they call it um, pot liquor. <laughs> you know, because in, there must be, there's so much iron from this um, the colored green. Like I said, it's just like, um, Kalalo. Kalalo have a lot of iron in it, you know. See, the, it reduces, the, the, the turkey just reduces right down, just come off the bone, just fall right off the bone. And the um, 
collard green is so tender, you know, it's very tender. Like I said, this could be just like this, but the traditional is with cornbread or corn muffin. And also rice is the, the, the next thing. So um, the last time I did it, I did it with um, corn. I made some corn muffin. So um, folks want um, a little bit different now. So this is it right there with all the turkey and everything in it and the rice is on the side. So folks, this is um, collard green with smoked turkey leg. And the sauce is called pot liquor. Uh, don't ask me why, folks. Um, America is one of my, like Canada was my um, eyes um, in my analytic, but America now, uh, like a lot of people watching this, have all of it, you know, all of a sudden I see Americans up there about 50 something percent. And um, yeah, so I thought, well, no, you know what, people ask for this, so this is why I decided to just go back and do this again like I said I did one up there with the wings and they wanted to this one with the um and there it is folks this is very soft this is it's colored city greens soft reduced and tender very nice because of all that um from the smoked turkey it gives it a nice flavor so folks that's it right there. So guys, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And go over and um, subscribe to um, Fire down in West Milan. And Jamie Wood and One King Films. And also to Popeye, PFSM, and Marion Mello down in, um, in Florida. So Marie's sick, but I see Marie doing a live there today and can hardly talk. Now, this is why I don't call you, Marie. When somebody's sick like that, you're supposed to be resting, Marie. I see you up there doing a live and you're gasping for breath. That's not a good thing, okay? Take care of yourself. Big up everybody. Ivalyn, big up yourself. Debbie Jarvis, big up yourself. Noreen, everybody just big up yourself. Have a wonderful week. This is Sunday. Have a wonderful week, okay, folks? All right, take it easy, everybody. Peace.